what's going on guys, Mickey CTX. Man, I just got back from a restaurant. Actually, me and my little nephew went out for a bite. Uh, we went to this little pizza parlor. And uh, as I was sitting, waiting for, of course, my pizza, which took forever, I might say. And uh, who's to say that a slice of pizza could take so long? But it was so delicious, so of course I was going to wait for that one gigantic slice of heavenly cheesy bread with a little bit of pepperoni and extra. Okay, I'm getting hungry, but... I'm making this commentary for you guys because as I was there sitting, there was this guy outside and uh, he was with this, with of course his lady friend, I don't know if it was his girlfriend, uh, his wife or maybe his sister and they're from Tennessee and they're having incest. But I saw them uh, out there and uh, as I quickly saw her glance, well I saw, I glanced over, I saw her lean over and um, noticing how well, they're, women are just very seductive. Uh, of course, we know that. Men, we think that we're the seductive uh, ordeal, the the, 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 the predator of, of getting women. But that's not really true because women can get us at, at will. It's, it's just, just, it just happens, you know, and they do what they do best, seduce. And so, I was viewing this young gentleman, and maybe he was around 18, 19. You know, maybe he just got his first uh, hairs on his balls and as you see his lag. Uh, and um, I was noticing that uh, this young gentleman with fresh pubes on his balls was talking about, um, yes, baby, no, don't worry, baby, we'll do that, baby. And um, it was so easy for that girl. I think that girl might have been about two years older than him. She looked like she was old enough to drink. But it's usually the opposite. Women tend to look younger these days uh, because of... Uh, Babies are born with Botox subscriptions, so thus giving babies this very young Selena Gomez look, thus I might be wrong. But I did see that, and uh, as I was looking to the side of me, I uh, was noticing that uh, the woman was uh, putting her hand on his uh, on his collar, and, and then I even heard her say his name, and uh, girls don't even care if your name is Jerky Miss Skrink. Okay, they don't care if your name is Jerk Off or, or, or John Johnson. They, they don't care. They're going to think that they like your name. And so they're going to repeat your name over and over until they like your name. And that's the way women are. And as far as him going for it, I was noticing that his reaction were, were pretty, uh, they were pretty convincing that, convincing that the guy was pretty dominated by the chick. Now, it's okay if that's the way you are, that's the way you brought up. It's cool to be a gentleman, it's cool to be a jerk off, sometimes as well. Either way, you cannot beat one or the other to 100%, and if you're pussy whoop before you get the vagina, then you know what, my friend, you are a pre-ejaculated, um, well, can't really come up with something very witty to say, but if I were to say something witty, that's what you would be. Now, I was also noticing that her hand was also moving towards his hand and, and rubbing it and things like that, and the guy was falling for it, was falling for it. it was so funny. Um, my nephew, of course, didn't see that his back was toward, uh, was uh, turned towards uh, them, and uh, of course, he was just noticing his delicious slice of heavenly pizza on his plate, and so was I. But as as we were waiting for the pizza, I was noticing some things like that. You know what? I came to this beautiful conclusion. Well, not beautiful. I, I'll take that back. I, I came up with this conclusion, which is beautiful, and yet it's also a little demonic because women are so good at what they do that what they do it's like a beautiful mind the movie with uh i think it was russell crowe whoever was that movie in and um and then at the same time it's it's, it's like crowville it's it's right underneath you and they're doing things that uh that, that you don't even know what's going on oh there i go being optic mickey right there optic mickey for the win okay now as <laughs> as uh my pizza was getting closer and closer to my table i was noticing that the woman was also touching uh the guy's neck very gently and as that happened and I kid you not, the guy's reaction was like as if he was just about to take a, a bite out of my pizza. And it was maybe, I don't know, maybe he's never been laid or it was his first time interacting with a female. Or maybe it was just a Match.com and uh, it was his last week on trial. And maybe he wanted it to work out. But beyond that, women are very sneaky guys. So there's lots of things that women do um, that actually can uh get you to where they want to get but women are experts at being seductive and they'll get what they want one way or another so uh my advice for you guys is know the signs uh play back the game if you can of course because uh women that are seductive are usually looking for a more 
how can I put this? I guess a guy that could be molded or a guy that could be pussy whooped, in other words. And uh, if you're not the type of guy, then you know you you might want to look for someone else. Now, uh, beyond that, if she's extremely hot, then you know what? You become that whoop person for that weekend, sir. I suggest that if she's extremely hot, she's a 10, then sir, you take that punishment and you get that ass, okay? You do that, for you take one for the team, and you know what you do after that? You run. You get out of there. You do not stay. You just get the hell out of there, and uh, unless you won round two, which is always fine, but beyond that, um, <laughs> if you're like me that I do not like to be whooped, then you know, uh, you run. You get the hell out of there. You pull Forrest Gump, and you run as fast as you can because that's not ever cool. But, yeah, there's uh, there's quite a few women out there. And if you have any kind of stories, guys, I want to hear them. Uh, or if you know of any other person that was, uh, of course, um, kind of in the, in the whoop situation. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. If you guys saw my first girlfriend experience, I was whooped before my first girlfriend. But you live and learn. I was only 17, 18. Maybe that's how old the guy was. And uh, he was extremely excited to maybe be in that situation where... When I had my first girlfriend, I was extremely happy to go to school and holding hands with a girl uh, in front of the whole school, which was pretty cool back then. I don't know about now how you young kids do it because everything's through text message. So maybe if you text message somebody, I'm assuming that maybe that's the cool thing to do. And now you just show your text messages. I don't know that that might just be it. But in my days and in the, in the back in the days before HD 1080p uh, TVs were common, I had a big flat DLP TV and I was proud of it, sir. So, but, uh, yeah, like I said, I uh, love it when you guys leave a comment below. Um, I know my time running out because I'm looking at the uh, timer and it's telling me, hey, Mick, you got to hurry up and finish this. Uh, but one last thing I want to tell you guys, I appreciate you guys that want to have been supporting me. Uh, new subscribers, of course. Uh, I talk about a lot of random things. If you just, if you're new to my channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. I don't charge, and uh, unless you want to pay me, with it, which is pretty cool, you know, I'll give you my PayPal account, and you could always deposit money for more equipment for YouTube videos. <laughs> but of course, if you don't want to pay, it's always free. I don't mind doing this. I love commentating, and uh, you'll see and hear a lot of uh, messed up things on my channel and a lot of cool things. And of course, I'm looking for the comedy part of Call of Duty, not just the game part. Everyone talks about the game part now I wanted to bring a more comedy side and a better light to uh, towards the light of the Call of Duty community so if you like what you hear go ahead and hit that subscribe button one more time I work on these videos for you guys and uh, yeah so uh, the last video was really really good I uh, got a good turnout on the shout outs and if you guys uh, haven't seen that video I'll post it on the annotation above and uh, of course the uh, heart of a champion video was the one before that and of course I had a merc it now of course, my Xbox screen went black. I don't know what, what that was about. But anyways, 200 to 142. And as you see, a pitch dark. Uh, I don't know if that's AGS or Overwatch. Anyways, <laughs> it's a big helicopter with a pitch black screen. So until next time, this is your heart of a champion, Mickey CTX, signing off.